All right. Mm, super rare comparison here. These are princess cuts that attain ideal optics in light performance. And uh, both of them really stunning princess cuts. The diamond on the left is in the point nineties. It's an FVS1. The diamond on the right is a little over a carat and is a GVS1. All right. They're um, both princess cuts with relatively small tables for princess cuts. Um, both of them kicking out uh, optics that we, you know, that we rarely see in princess cuts. Both of them spectacular. You, you, can't, you can't go wrong either way here. But you, there are nuances and difference between the two diamonds, all right, which, which you're seeing right here in the video. So a nice plain comparison of brightness and contrast. But I got news for you. Either one of these princess cuts, you put, this, you put either one of these in a ring, and she will have on her finger the standard of excellence in a princess cut that even ideal cut rounds, um, you know, will be comparable to. All right. Let's look at sparkle. All right. This is our dimmer spotlighting here, showing you sparkle scintillation. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> all right. You know, you can see it, and I'm just going to say it, that uh, the FVS1 on the left, the .90, uh, some FVS1, that one's kicking back a little more sparkle. The other one still has ideal sparkle for a princess cut, but there is a difference, all right? Let's, let's go into stronger spotlighting, all right? And this is, uh, you know, my spotlighting on steroids here, but both diamonds are under even lighting, all right? In fact, in all of the lighting environments that we've looked at them in, they're all in even spotlighting. Uh, a lot, all in even lighting environments, I should say. No one diamond gets special favor over the other. And there you got it. Between the two. All right. And that there, I tell you, this, is, this should be enough info here to uh, help you decide which way you want to go. You know, you got a size advantage in the one carita. Okay, and it still has it still has great optics for a princess cut, but we're splitting fine hairs here in this video. We are splitting hairs, and as splitting hairs, I would have to give the uh, you know my thumbs up to the diamond on the left for the optical performance. But I can, but I, listen, I understand the female mindset too, and there are a lot of ladies who say you know something, as long as it's a good looking diamond. And I shouldn't say good looking, a great looking diamond for a princess cut. Um, and over the one carat mark, I could certainly understand a decision in that direction as well. Alrighty, so thanks for, your, uh, thanks for watching. It's a pleasure to serve, and I hope that this video has helped you decide one way or the other. Thank you.